Hey crafty friends, this is Nye with All Things Were Created. Today we are going to go through the assembly of our Valentine Boy Gnome Candy Dome. <laughs> that was the mouthful. Um, I am going to be using my art glitter glue for all of my gluing. I have some candy here that I will be using to add inside my dome. And I also have my hot glue off camera that I will be using at the end for um, gluing the dome to the actual paper. So. First things first, as you can see, I have all of my pieces. They are cut out and they are lined up and ready for gluing. I am going to go ahead and just take some of these pieces here, push them off to the side, and I'm going to start with my gluing from the bottom and work my way up here. So I have this blue, I have my glue, I'm just going to get it going. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna kinda of come around and add a little bit of glue to my cardstock, all the way getting around a lot of these little edges here and the heart there. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm holding it between my fingers. I'm going to grab this bottom part, holding it between my fingers as well. And I am going to just line it up I'm using my fingers to get everything just in that spot, that right spot. And once I do, I'm just pressing everything down. If you have any glue that seeps through, that's okay. You can use a paper towel to just wipe it, or you can just leave it, it will dry clear. That's one of the great things about the art glitter glue here. And so again, I'm just doing my next layer now. Again, just kind of going through adding glue to the back holding it between my fingers and then pressing it down. I meant to grab it down here. And when you get it in that spot, or if you're off just a little bit, you've got maybe about five seconds just to shift things around before the glue bonds to the paper and then you're stuck. <laughs> Okay, so this is my next layer here. Again, just adding the glue here along the back. And then layering it all right on top. So this was one of those um, candy domes that you can't really size it down because of the measurement of the dome opening and this one's kind of big <laughs> it needed to be big because of um just the dome here it's a really large dome i couldn't find any smaller ones so i kind of had to design the file around the size of the dome here so i'm just using my fingers again as i go to press everything down and now for the hat, again, just adding the glue to the back here. And again, I'm just gonna hold it and press it because it's much easier sometimes to get everything just lined up when you're holding it between your fingers and then just pressing it down. Now for this one, I'm only going to add a little bit of glue along some of these larger spots here and really along the edge. I'm kind of adding just a little bit along the edge because I don't want to have too much that begins to seep out there. And then I'm gonna use my finger to get that placement and then just gently press it down. Okay. I'm gonna just add a little bit of glue right here and right here, because this will be where my hearts will go. And again, just pressing them down right on top of this space. I'm gonna do his nose. And 
and pressing that down as well. And then let's do this part of the, his hat. I'm gonna use my pin, which, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I lost it. <laughs> um, and then just pressing that there. And now for his balloon, I'm going to glue the top part of the balloon to this one here. Again, I just have it between my fingers as I'm pressing it down. I've got some glue coming through right there. And just use a little bit of the paper towel to get that there. That was a lot that was coming through. Then I'm going to add the glue to the back here. And then lining it up, getting it right in that spot. And remember, I'm just shifting it a little bit before I press it down all the way. And then for his hand, just adding it there. I'm going to use my push pin to just put that right there. And that was a quick and easy assembly right to finish him off. And now for the mechanism. So I have the five pieces here of the me mechanism. These two are exactly the same. I'm going to take these and glue them together. And now I know you might wonder why these two are exactly the same and why we're taking two and gluing them together. It's because two will add just a little bit more sturdiness and support to the paper here. And so I'm going to take these two and place them right on top of each other. And I'm going to glue these two together as well. So do not add the glue here to the flaps just yet, just kind of around where the paper will sit. And place it right on top and then press it down. Okay, so we left these two flaps here open. What we're going to do now is just take our glue, add it to the flap, and then we're gonna take that flap and fold it right on top. I'm gonna do that for the other side as well. And now I can take my middle piece, because this will be my slider. I'm gonna place it right over that opening I'm going to take this piece, place it right over this opening too, just to kind of make sure I've got my alignment correct. Now, before I start to glue, I'm going to take this one, flip it, and now I'm going to glue these flaps right here, just these two. So I'm just gonna use my finger and fold right at the edge of the paper and press it down so it sticks. I'm going to do that here on the other side press it down as it sticks and grabbing this these two pieces I have the two flaps here on the other side and then these two flaps right here I'm going to take it so these two flaps meet which means I'm going to flip this one over and put it so the two flaps meet right there and I'm smushing everything and holding it between my fingers and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift up, add a little bit of glue to the one side of the flap, push it down, and make sure that those two flaps glue together. Then I'm going to do it to the other side as well. Lift up, add a little bit of glue, smush it together so that way these are now bound, bonded with that slider piece in the center. And the reason why you may want to glue these two flaps together is when we go to slide it like this, those two flaps will keep the slider from sliding all the way out. They kind of act as a little doorstop to keep it from going all the way out. So now I have it there, I've lined it up. I'm going to flip it over so I can see the bottom side here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue along where the flaps will fold. And I'm going to use my finger and just bend and fold the flaps there. 
Now when you're bending and folding, don't fold it so it's completely against it. Give it a little bit of wiggle room. If you need to, use your fingernail and just kind of crease it a little bit and then bend it. We do wanna have a little bit of room for the slider to move in the inside. If it's too tight, then you'll have a hard time pulling the slider. So I'm going to do that now for these bottom ones here. A little bit of glue. And use my fingernail there and just bend it. If you get some glue seeping, that's okay. Just use your paper towel to dry it off. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that mine was still moving because you don't want your slider to end up glued because <laughs> then it won't open. All right, so I'm gonna use my fingernail there to just to kind of bend it and push it down. Same thing here. There are no score marks on this because the paper is just so small and the flap is just so small that it would have been difficult to do. So I'm just pressing it there, holding it, giving it a chance to dry. Then I'm switching to this last side here. Well, almost the last side and doing the same thing again. If it comes back up, that's okay. Just hold it and give it a chance to secure. And then we've got two flaps here at the top as well. So same thing, add a little bit of glue and then just take it and fold it. And again, this is just another um, kind of security to keep the slider from coming out. And that finishes it. And then what you'll have is the slider can move through. These are coming out still. Through the mechanism there. I made this one too tight. There it is. All right. You can see it's still coming up. It's not drying. Maybe I'll add a little bit more glue there. Okay, so when you have it, what you're going to find now is flip over your gnome, then take your mechanism, open it up, and you want the opening to kind of sit right on top of the opening of your gnome. So I'm placing mine there. That's what I'm gonna do. I wouldn't do it this way because then the flap will be at the bottom. I would do it so that way it's up at the top. I'm going to take my glue again, add it to the back of the mechanism here. You don't need to go too crazy. And then place it right over the opening and press it down. I'm gonna flip mine over really quick so I can see what it looks like on the other side. So you can see it right there. It looks good. I'm gonna flip it back over and then again, just press everything down to make sure that it's secure. And there you go. So you can see the opening will go just like that. Okay. So now I'm ready to glue my dome down. So I've got these clear um, heart domes that I, I'm using. If you go to your dollar and a quarter store and you find these container domes, these container heart domes that the dollar and a quarter store has that are red, these will work too. I designed them in such a way that they will fit as well. So if you wanted to use the clear one, the red ones that the dollar store has, or you wanted to use these, you totally could. They'll both fit. Their opening of the heart is a little bit bigger just to allow for the difference between the two because they're not exactly the same size. So it's your personal choice as to which ones you wanted to use. If you want it clear or if you want red, that's up to you. I'm gonna use the clear ones, but it's personal preference. So I have my clear dome. I'm going to add some hot glue right along the bottom here. 
I might run out of hot glue. a little bit going on the inside. So add it right along the edge of your dome. And then take it and press it right in there. And there you go. Got a little bit coming on this part, so I'm just pushing it in. And that's it. Then you can turn it over and take your candies and add them right on the inside. So because these are not like the circular domes, you can't fit as much of the candy in there. <laughs> so may only be able to add a bit. And that's it. That finishes it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and happy crafting.